Welcome back to First News at 10. Minot High girls and boys basketball back home tonight hosting the Mandan Braves. Let's head over to Magic City campus. Pink was everywhere around the gym tonight. Uniforms and shirts. Fans supporting young Isaac Lewis, a brave young boy battling cancer. Early in the second half, it's a close game. The Jets with the ball. Maggie Fricky misses, but Minot gets the rebound. The dish to Lily Bell for the layup. The lead would bounce back and forth between the teams. Here's Mandan's Harper Harris with a tray. Now Minot would counter with a dish of their own to Presley Bennett, who's going to get the easy two pointer in the lane. Back on the other end of the court, the Braves McKenna Johnson trying to work the paint. It's a no go, but a friendly bounce goes to Harris, who downs another three. Now moments later, Mandan with the ball again. Harris drives, but Lily Bell says not in my house with this big block. Mandan would put a full court press on Minot for much of this game, but here's Bell finding Fricky, who takes it coast to coast 4 2. Lily Bell breaks her own WDA record for points in a game with 45, and they would need all of them to fend off a tough Mandan squad 72 to 66. Minot boys looking to defend their number one AA ranking. Student section sporting pink for Isaac. A magician's in charge early on. Here's the dish to Grayson Schaefer in the paint. He gets the easy layup and draws the foul, would miss the and one. On the other end, Minot with the steal here. Lucas Beater brings it down court. Peyton Shell tries to finish but misses. Schaefer is going to get the put back. Minot keeps rolling. The Braves are looking to stay with Minot here. Hudson Shelton is going to find space in the paint. He's going to get the bounce off the board for two, but moments later he's picked. And it's a fast break for Minot with no one in front of him. Shell with the dunk. Throw it down, big man. Minot pulls away, winning big 92 to 46. Across town, Bishop Ryan girls hosting our Redeemers tonight. Early on, the Knights looking to make a move. The dish to Isabel Engelhart. She drains the three. Ryan now with the ball. The dish in the paint to Alina Johansson. She gets the layup to get Ryan on the board. Hey, it's Aaron Casper in the house for the refs. Hi, Aaron. Knights have it again. The pass to Caden Braun. She's going to find an open lane in the paint and gets the bounce off the backboard for two. The Lions would keep this one interesting, but it's the visiting Knights who reign supreme tonight, 58 to 51. A few other girls scores of note tonight. Surrey holds off TGU in a close one in overtime, and the Velva Aggies beat Glenburn on the road. Well, uh, excuse me, Glenburn beat Velva uh, instead. Big night for Minot Sports continues. Boys hockey hosting Bismarck Legacy at the Mesa. Legacy trying to get on the board early forward Isaac Lewis with the shot on goal, but he's denied. Later in the first period, Legacy with the advantage, but Minot will get some solid defense and kill the power play. This game would stay scoreless. On the other end of the ice, Minot trying to get on the board, but it's Legacy's goalie who would stop it right here. A lot of defense in the first period. Both teams would eventually get on the board. It's the visiting Sabres, though, who skate to the close 2-1 to win.